bad divorce end in murder. The woman accused of killing her estranged husband with a chemical used to kill rats says she didn't do it. Investigators say the crime might have gone unnoticed if not for a quick-thinking nurse. CBS 2's Christine Sloan has a story of this alleged murder by poison. The Monroe Township chemist, accused of killing her husband by poisoning him, stood calmly in court today as a judge spelled out the charges against her, which include first-degree murder. That's murder by poison. It's our allegation that she administered a lethal and massive dose of thallium to the victim and caused his death. Prosecutors won't say how Tianli Li, who worked for Bristol Myers Squibb, allegedly gave her husband Zhao Wei Wang thallium, which used to be used in rat poisoning before the 80s. But they say they suspect she got it from her job. Li's attorney Stephen Altman says his client is innocent. At this point, I have to trust the, the $4 million murder case. I think it's excessive to the bail guidelines. Lee's husband, who was in the process of a divorce with her, died on January 26, two weeks after he checked himself into the hospital with flu-like symptoms. Prosecutors say it was a nurse who thought of testing for the metal, remembering a thallium poisoning case in China. Ultimately suspected thallium poisoning. They tested for it and found it. By the time that it was discovered, it was really too late to treat him. The couple moved to the house in 2008. Neighbors say they often heard the couple fighting and witnessed police responding to the house on numerous occasions. Too many times we know, we can see the police cars come here. Lee has a two-year-old son with the husband she's accused of killing. The toddler has been placed in foster care as she waits for family to come from China. Prosecutors say the motive for the killing lies somewhere in the couple's marital problems. At the courthouse in New Brunswick, Christine Sloan, CBS2 News. Lee has also been charged with lying to the police. Prosecutors say they're doing more toxicology testing on her husband, which will give them more clues on how the poison was given to him. Hazel Natawa death by poison. A New Jersey woman is behind bars tonight accused of using her on-the-job skills as a chemist to kill her husband as the pair battled in a bitter divorce. CBS 2's Sean Hennessy reports now from Middlesex County. A toddler's toy swing sits at the home of the parents he may never know. A father is dead and a mother accused of murder in the very home they all shared. It's terrible. They had a little kid there and it's just terrible what happened. Investigators say Tian Lei Li was a chemist at Bristol Myers Squibb and that she used thallium, a highly toxic metal, to poison her husband, Zhao Ye Wang. What goes through your mind? Uh, that you can't believe that something like that is happening so close by? Neighbors in this upscale Monroe Township street didn't know the couple but couldn't help but know about their rocky marriage. And sometimes the window is open, they are uh, fighting, and uh, wife voice was louder than uh, husband voice. So many fights that law enforcement was a constant presence here. We saw police there quite often. Sometimes multiple times in one week. Prosecutors say the couple was in the midst of a divorce and that Lee gave her husband thallium in December and early January. The 39-year-old dad thought he was sick with the flu, so he left home here and checked himself into the hospital. Less than two weeks later, though, he was dead from poisoning. Investigators say Lee initially lied to them, but some wonder, given all the times police came here, how she ever expected to get away with it. You would think that doing something very pre-planned like this and something where they can find out and kind of connect the dots, I, I don't know that it was really well thought out for her to do something like that. She had an opportunity to leave. And because she didn't, a two-year-old boy will likely grow up without his parents. In Monroe Township, Sean Hennessy, CBS 2 News. And Tian Lei Li is being held on murder charges. Her bail is more than $4 million. Uh